on this. It's been so long since I've worked, I forget which button to push. Okay, so the first one is a cross-legged crunch, which is really your Indian style crunch, if you will, crisscross applesauce. And we're here, so cross those legs over. We're gonna come all the way down to the floor and hands go behind the head, supporting the head for the neck and elbows stay back. And I'll count us out. We have 30 cross leg crunches in three, two, one, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. After every move, I encourage stretching. So big stretch like you're just getting out of bed. Reach hands overhead, feet, point the toes and reach. Next one will be a cross knee crunch. So you take your legs and you cross them over like a figure four. So just like so. And what we'll do, I have my right leg on top. So go ahead and put right leg on top if it wasn't already. We're gonna take our left hand behind our head. Our right hand goes to our stomach and we're gonna be reaching our left shoulder towards our right knee when we crunch, not the elbow. So here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Again, a big stretch overhead if you need it. Reach out and we're gonna cross that left knee over next. Just that stretch feels good on its own. Left knee crosses over, right hand behind the head, right shoulder towards the left knee, left hand on the belly. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big stretch of her head. I'm going to take a quick peek at my phone, make sure nobody's trying to get in and can't find me because the next move is the hardest move. So we're gonna take our time on this one. They're called Peter Pans. The only reason they're called Peter Pans is if you think about Peter Pan taking off, his legs are always some version of this, where your foot is connected to your opposite knee. And then we decide how low your legs go. That's what makes this move harder. So you start with them nice up and high and then lower them down so your back does not lift. Once it lifts, you're too low, okay? so. You may be right up here. You may be all the way down here. You find your place and then the crunch remains straight up to the sky, okay? All right, so right foot is gonna be connected to the left knee. Our left leg is as straight as you can keep it. 
Lower the legs to where you feel that comfort spot. And here we go in three, two, crunch up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, yeah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, take a rest. Either you can pull your knees into your chest or give me that big stretch overhead. And like I said, those are the hardest because you're also doing some lower ab and leg holding and tension release there. All right, we gotta go to the other side. Take your right leg, straighten it out. Your left foot will connect with your right knee. We're gonna lower that down, hands behind the head. And three, two, one, lift, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a big deep breath. A little water break here in the middle. We got two moves. No, three moves to go. <laughs> Never quote me on how many moves are left. That's not fair. All right, reverse crunches, two options here. So your top option, top of the scale, is that your legs are straight, your arms are anywhere above your hips. Some people like to leave them on your shoulders. Some people set them on your chest, your stomach, or out to a T. I just don't want them down here because then they're pushing and helping. So hands above the hips, and you lift the tailbone off the ground, okay? That's option one. Option two, you actually take your hands underneath your tailbone. Your knees go to 90 and we tap the heels on the ground. So either way, we're getting that lower ab movement and tension. I call it the fanny pack, but we're working on our fanny pack. So reverse crunches are next. Hands above the hips if you're going for the top version, hands under the tailbone if you're gonna go bent knee. And here we go in three, two, one, push. One, two, three, four. Try to minimize the swinging. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, good, stretch out as needed. We will head right to lay flat. So you can go to that lower stretch, legs out, arms overhead, big deep breath. All right, lay flat. Just like they sound, legs are flat out in front of you, straight out in front of you. Arms can either be overhead with your fingertips clasped to give yourself a little bit of support on the head. But if that's not enough, your hands can come to the back of your head. And we're just coming a little bit off the ground here, no matter which direction you take with the arms. 
Here we go. 30, two moves to go before we go back around to 20. Three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, and one, big stretch overhead. We're right there to do it, we might as well. All right, sit-ups are last. Sit-ups, you could have your feet tucked under the couch, the chair, some weights, that will help you. If the full sit-up is not happening, the option is to simply take it to a crunch right here. But otherwise, we're gonna come all the way up and all the way down. I'll be counting the full sit-up, so if you're doing crunches, you're just going to have to slow down to stick with the count, or you can fly ahead and count on your own. All right, here we go. Last thing on the list. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, home stretch, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, last one. Good, stretch water, whatever you need before we go on to round 20, 20 reps in the next round. Whew, that's tough, my abs are on fire. It's also crazy hot down here in Florida. It's like 93 degrees. <coughs> Good, I'm gonna turn the air up, all right. We will be back for cross-legged crunches round two at 20. Okay, so if you're sticking with it, cross-leg crunches all the way back, hands behind the head, and we're gonna crunch. Remember, only the top half of your abs are working here, so really tighten down. Three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Taking that ten off makes a huge impact. Right knee crosses over, left hand behind the head, right hand on the belly. We're gonna cross that left shoulder over in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a deep breath. We're going the other side. Left knee crosses, right hand behind the head, right shoulder, left knee. Big deep breath. Three, two, one, come on up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big stretch overhead. Big deep breath opens up the rib cage, stretches those abs before the dreaded Peter Pan. They're the worst, but they work everything. All right, right knee or right foot connects to the left knee, straight left leg. We're gonna lower those legs down as much as possible. If they need to stay right here, they need to stay right here. They're still doing work. We're gonna lower and we lift in three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, big hug of your knees. Stretch out your tailbone, but also just gives you a reset. All right, right leg straight, left, left foot touches that right knee, hands behind the head, and we go in three, two, one, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Another big hug to your chest. Reverse crunches are up next. Remember, you got the straight leg, heels to heaven option, or hands under the tailbone, bent knee knee drop option. Either way, if your legs are straight, your hands are above your hips. We get ready to go in three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Halfway, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those legs all the way to the floor. Lay flat crunches, hands either behind the head for neck support or over the head, hands clasped. Still squeezing the head, but not as much support. Getting a little shoulder workout in there too. We lift for 20 in three, two, one. Let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that big overhead stretch, big deep breath. Full sit-ups or crunches. 20 is almost over. 10 is going to feel like a piece of cake. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, halfway at 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all right, we got one more round of 10. Woo. My hair looks like I've been <laughs> rolling around. Nope, <laughs> just abs. All right, cross-legged crunches are coming up next. These are gonna fly because we only have 10 of everything. Woo, grab a drink if you need it. I like doing abs, but they do work. All right. Crisscross applesauce, back down on the floor, 10, and they're gonna be over in three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, say goodbye to cross-legged crunches for today. Cross that right knee over. Left hand behind the head, left shoulder reaches in three, two, one, come on up. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one and relax other side other side left knee right shoulder in three two one up one two three four five five four three two and one relax peter pans for the last time and I'm pretty sure it's the last time in the challenge. So that means you, since you only have 10, you have the ability to lower your legs a little bit on this last round and challenge yourself just a little bit more. So we work on keeping that, those lower abs tucked upwards so that our back stays flat as we lower the legs and we have 10 straight up crunches. So hands behind the head, lower those legs, three, two, one crunch, one, two, three, four, woo, shaky, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe, tuck those knees in, other side, woo, hello knee, good morning pops, left, left foot connected to the right knee, Hands behind the head, lower the legs. Here we go, three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck those knees in. We have reverse crunches next. Peter pans are gone. Feet in the air or knees bent, tapping those heels. Feet in the air, hands above the hips, or knees bent, hands under the tailbone. Here we go, three, two, one, take off. One, two, three, 
four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit ups for the last time, but definitely not the last time. Oh, sorry, lay flats, lay flats. Lay flats are not the last time either. All right, legs out straight, hands overhead, hands behind the neck. Three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we bring it home and sit up. I got the cart ahead of the horse. I feel like my father's doctor is all of a sudden. <laughs> Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, stretch it out if you need to, but that's the end of that one on fire. I'm going to hit pause, but you guys get to work on that one.